Good morning, patriots. I'm standing here today outside of the city of New Braunfels City Hall and Municipal Court Complex. It's a pretty warm late summer day. It's the day after Labor Day, so these offices should be open and maybe a little bit busy. I've never visited here before, and I'm just curious about what it's like, what kind of services they offer, and I might try to find out how to make public records requests here, just in case in the future there's something that I need to know about concerning the city of New Braunfels. Flying high above the entrance, the flags of the United States and Texas. And here's the front facade. From a little bit of a profile, that morning sun is blazing right against the front of the building there. It's pretty Texas here, pretty central Texas. There's one of our beautiful Texas mountain laurels. I just mentioned those when I was in shirts over the weekend outside of the police station. These produce an incredible violet purple flower in the spring that only lasts about two weeks and then they're gone for the rest of the year. We've got some fire and EMS trucks parked out here. This one, for some reason, is running. Nobody's in it. I don't know if that's their policy. They just leave the vehicle running in case there's emergencies. Over here we have some parking lot crepe myrtles. which are keeping their blooms for the moment. And over in the corner, a lovely little Texas pecan. We're at the corner of Walnut Avenue and Landa Street. This is the new city hall complex. that's been relocated uh, from presumably the downtown area. I don't really know the history. Maybe that's something we'll find out today. So I've moved to the area just in front of the building's entrance. You can see the building square on there. I'm not really sure about the city logo. It uh, looks like it might be the outline of a pecan tree. Maybe the Texas pecan is the, the mascot of the city. Whoops, excuse me. Any botanists out there watching maybe could comment. Is that the outline of a Texas pecan? Could be. Here's our Texas mountain laurel again. And it looks like they've got their courtyard here in front of the building divided into four quadrants. One, two, three, and four. Each one has a Texas mountain laurel in the center with some, I'm gonna say Mexican sage. Got a few of the purple blooms on there still. And then a few other native looking plants that I cannot identify by sight. Interesting, 
that the uh, window between the two doors there has the town seal and the logo. City Hall business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Morning. Uh, I say that's interesting, even though it's not by itself interesting, but that's the only sign I see on any of these doors. At least from this distance. There's one that says uh, handicap access. Okay, it looks like what we have here is a member of the Greater New Braunfels Chamber of Commerce, Com Commerce, Commerce, and uh, in New Braunfels, I can't read the one on the right. Still, I'm I'm standing with my back to the sun, and there's just a tremendous glare on the monitor. Oh, I think it's the same thing in German. Okay, so. It's just repeating itself in the German language because this was once a very prominent German, not colony of the state, but uh, just a community of immigrants from, from Germany and that region of the world settled here in the eighteenth and nineteenth centuries right out here on the front of the building is the ever watchful witness looks like there's just the one here and then if I pan across the front next door to the city hall is the municipal court and they've got the ever watchful one posted outside of their building as well Do I have an objection to the surveillance of buildings? No. I think that uh, the people who own or operate or manage properties like this have the right to uh, protect it from vandalism and theft and arson and any other criminal activities. What I object to is when those who are surveilling their clientele or their citizens object to their citizens doing the same. So <laughs> that's part of why I'm here, isn't it? To uh, surveil the surveillance uh, that didn't really sound right. To surveil in the open those who are performing surveillance clandestinely. Just to my right here we have a couple of police vehicles parked. There's number 1406, the cruiser. I'm not sure if that's police or not. So I've come through the doors and now I'm inside the entrance that I was just filming. There's the sign that we filmed from the outside. 
posted on the door that has their operational hours. Looking out into the parking lot from inside, there's just a pretty large, empty and echoey entrance hall here. Up above there are some panels. Maybe they perform some acoustic function and maybe it's just that people like the way that looks in here. I don't know, form or function. Anybody's guess that's the ceiling. You can see those hard shadows from the morning sun. Good morning. I'm okay. Yeah, you are absolutely okay, sir. You have a good day. Morning. Good morning. That was a New Braunfels police officer. I didn't really get a clear shot of him, but this is looking like green light territory to me, folks, because he just blew by here without a care in the world about my presence with this tripod and this camera. I don't love walking around with this camera on a tripod because there's no stabilization, but I'll do my best to use my body as a fluid head and turn slowly. Because I just want to get this one last plaque that's out here in the foyer or foyer, depending on your preference. Okay, so this is a relatively new facility, as I speculated in the parking lot. Approved for construction 2015. Dedicated October 2016. So it's just under six years old, this building. So I kept going through the foyer into the main body of the building. And right when you walk in here, there's a large information counter. And there's two police officers in here right from the jump. Last camera. Thank you, sir. How are you today? <laughs> Not too terrible. Well, that's better than some of the alternatives. It is. Right. Not as good as other alternatives. Correct. I'm kind of in the middle of the road. Today. Yeah. You're, you doing good? Yeah, yeah. You're Alexius? Yes, sir. Hi. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm Blake. It's good to meet you. That was Officer Blake Alessius. I didn't whip the camera around to film him, but we had a very nice, friendly, cordial greeting. And I would say that the green light status in this place, the live odds on that just pretty much shot through the roof. Uh, good Normally when I get the establishing footage outside, I like to use the long range SLR camera on the mounted tripod and probably switching to the handheld GoPro gimbal to go actually through a building like this, but today I just felt like bringing the whole big apparatus right in the building. Had no idea there would be police officers standing in here as soon as I got in. But that is what I encountered. So I'm standing right inside the door with an SLR camera mounted on a tripod and um, well 
You heard, if not saw, the very friendly response I got from Officer Alessius. So from a constitutional point of view, it is looking very much like the city of New Braunfels has their act together. like the people in the city secretary office have taken note of what's going on here. A little video recording, checking out the city hall. I've never been in here before. Sorry? Oh, I'm not from here, no. But since we're having a conversation, I'll document it. What's your name, sir? De La Rosa. Hello. Hello, good morning. And you guys are a city of New Braunfels PD? Your city of New Braunfels PD? Yes. Nice to meet you. Go ahead, go ahead. No problem. <laughs> this is how I do all my interviews. I like at least 50 feet. <laughs> oh, I'd rather not say, thank you. I know that's customary. No worries, guys, no worries. So you guys can see what kind of response we're getting from the police department here. Looking like there's not going to be a lot of smoke in this place. So I'm standing now right outside of the city secretary office. Just a few feet into the entrance there. city secretary, and then these double doors, employees only. So we'll definitely consider that a restricted area. And these are the doors right there, beyond which you must be an employee of the city to enter. And over here on the right, is the Public Information Act. The print on there is so small that I am struggling to read it even when I got about two feet away. So I'm going to ask for a copy of that and then go from there. morning. I have a couple of questions. Um, this Public Information Act flyer, can you hear me? The flyer here that says Public Information Act, do you have a copy of that? Uh, let me check. I'm with Economic Development. Oh, okay. I can wait if she's coming back. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Um, I tried to read this flyer that says Public Information Act, and the type is so small I couldn't read it on the wall, so I wonder if you have a copy of it. Um, one moment. Okay, thank you. So I think I'm just going to take this and give it a good read. 
and then um, come back later and make the public Can information make, request. Hello. Can I make a copy for you? Yes, please. Which one? The top one. English? I just can't read it. It's so small. Absolutely. Oh, wow. You're going to take it right off the wall? Yes. Holy moly. Absolutely. That's very kind of you. Thank you. It's like a... Uh, it's like buying a dress right off the mannequin. Let's <laughs> hope it's the right size. <laughs> if you have that online, I could look for it there. We're going to make sure we give you exactly what you're asking. We're going to make sure we give you exactly what you're asking. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be like a construction project, no, you guys. Okay. It's no big. Thank you. I sure appreciate you. Well, folks. Nice to have you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. I would say the live odds on a green light in this place just. <laughs> went up to a, a prohibitive level, <sighs> about as close to 100% as you're going to get. Guys, I just dropped the SLR camera and the tripod back in the vehicle there. And I didn't want to say this inside on the microphone, but uh, once that lady started taking down the flyer off the wall, I realized that, that when I didn't see any kind of signs on the front door, um, I don't know if uh, concealed carry is permitted or forbidden in that building. And at one point, I, it just it didn't go exactly how I expected inside. I didn't know I was going to walk right through the doors. And at the information counter, there's two police officers there. And um, at some point in the encounter, I realized I forgot to take that 380 back to the car and drop it off before going in. And um, so I, I might have cut the visit a little bit short in there because when I realized that I was concealed carrying, I didn't know whether it was lawful or not. And so I thought what I would do instead is just grab the GoPro head back inside and initiate a conversation with the police officer inside about what those kinds of rules are. Good morning. Sorry. No worries. Good morning again. Hi. Can I ask you a couple more questions? Sure. Um, yeah, I do actually. Um, I wanted to know when I came in, I looked at all the signs on the door, and usually when um, there's specific rules about firearms, they're posted outside. I didn't see anything posted here, so I wondered if it's just a given that city buildings have certain codes about that. Or if it's not posted, if it's okay uh, to carry. No, this is a this is a public area right here. This okay. is a public lobby. Yes. So so yes, you're allowed to carry in the public areas. Concealed the only, or open? Yes. Okay. The only the the only exception is when a uh, is when uh, a meeting is taking place, and that's why they're posted outside our council chamber, inside our. Council chamber. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that to be yeah. honest, because I hadn't come over here. So this is the city council chambers. Yes. And if there's a meeting going on. Firearms are not allowed in the building at all. In in within the council chamber. Okay, but within the public area, it's okay. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, great. Thanks for clarifying that. Okay. Appreciate you. Yes. Have a good day. Well, I just walked out of the building and directly into this scene right here. I'm not really sure what's going on. It sounds jovial and friendly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Got one of the firemen flexing for us. I'll tell you what, guys. If you ever come to New Braunfels, Texas, looking for some First Amendment smoke, you better just keep on rolling because that is 
about the least smoke you're ever going to find. You got firemen flexing for the camera. You got office ladies pulling the damn furniture off the walls to get us a copy of the poster I asked for. You got the cops shaking hands, smiling and friendly. This is about as bright of a flashing green light as you're probably going to find anywhere on the planet. I didn't push any issues. I didn't reach out in any way beyond just the normal conduction of business. However, I did have the entire apparatus on a tripod. I've got a mounted microphone on the top. I've got a lavalier mic clipped to my lapel. It was pretty conspicuous. And you saw what happened there. So if, if this, uh, signing, if the green light here wasn't already flashing brightly, I would say that seals the deal. So I did bring my 380 pistol concealed into that building without first clarifying the rules, which was a mistake on my part. Uh, I just got a little swept up and in inching into the building a little further, a little further. I didn't actually um, plan to go in carrying that SLR camera. I meant to go back to the car, drop off the pistol, drop off the camera, grab the GoPro and go in. However, I made a couple of uh, spontaneous choices on the fly to just keep going in and just take the big camera set up with me and forgot that I had the concealed carry in my waistband. But as you heard from Officer De La Rosa in there, I didn't do anything unlawful. As long as you're in that public area, not going into any restricted areas or the city council chamber during meetings, you can uh, conceal carry or open carry either way. So, you know, maybe one of these days we'll go back open carrying and just see what happens based on that information. Signing off from New Braunfels, Texas City Hall. This is the Texas Independent Press. And that is a bright green light.